Hello and welcome to an Envato Tuts Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Pordilla and in today's video you'll learn how to backup your WordPress site. Now at some point in our lives most of us will um, have to deal with some kind of hardware failure on our own computers and when that happens we're gonna lose all of our data. That includes you know personal files, company files, uh, all of the projects we're working on, everything that's not backed up will be gone. Of course, there are data recovery services, but they don't work uh, all the time, right? And that's why it's important that we constantly back up our data. Well, the same thing is applicable to our WordPress site. Just because it's up there, it doesn't mean it's always going to be there and that it's bulletproof. A lot of things can happen to it. Uh, hackers can replace your website with um, images of cats. Um, your um, web hosting provider can suddenly go poof. Your, um, I don't know, the server that's hosting your website files can have a malfunction. It can wipe and then your files are gone. So if you don't have a backup solution, you're um, you're in big trouble uh, so if you have a backup of course you can quickly restore it to full functionality now in all fairness most um, web hosting providers nowadays have good machines they have backups that they're doing themselves so you won't have a uh, many problems in that regard. They also have very good security, so uh, you know hackers can't easily uh, find their way into your website and uh, mess it up. But even with the all the safeguards in place from your web hosting provider, you should still use your own solution for backing up your, uh, your site. So let me show you how you can do that. Uh, before we go there, I just want to show you how my hosting provider backs up my website, right? So let me uh, quickly log in here. I'm using SiteGround, but what I'm about to show you applies to any respectful hosting provider. In my case, if I go to security backups, right, I can create a manual backup. I have five of these available, but the thing is my hosting provider does this automatically for me every day look there was one made yesterday one made today and it goes all the way to like last year if uh, if i want to do that uh, and for each backup i have the option to restore files databases emails or all the files and databases so if anything would go wrong to my website I can quickly go into I'd say okay well last week I had a good uh, website up and running everything was fine so I can just restore everything from there and that's a very quick process and I'm up and running in no time so when you're selecting your hosting provider make sure you select a good one uh, that has these automated backups now in addition to that here's how you can manually back up your files you can do it in two different ways with a plugin or manually okay with a plugin uh, there are a bunch of them but um, a one that i've heard uh, very good things about is called updraft plus a wordpress backup plugin so you can install this activate it and then you would just follow the instructions you can go ahead and back it up now and you can also go into settings and set a schedule for the backups which is fantastic and this is going to do the backups automatically for you you don't have to lift a finger so that's just one plugin that does this if you search the plugin directory for backup you'll find a lot more now if you want to do a backup manually uh, you need to 
do two things. You need to back up the database and you need to back up the files. To back up the files, it's actually really easy. You need access to, to your WordPress files. Now, if you're working locally, this is gonna be on a local folder on your computer, like I have here. So, you know, to back them up, I simply copy and paste them in a folder somewhere on a hard drive or in the cloud, and that's a backup. You're good to go. If you're, uh, you have a, a website running on a live server, then, you know, it really depends on your hosting provider. On SiteGround, uh, I can go into Site, File Manager, and I can see all my files here in public HTML. And I can go into FTP accounts. I can create an account there, and I can use an FTP uh, client like FileZilla to go in there and download all my files. But again, this depends on the provider that you have. But in most of the cases, you will need FTP access to your files. And you would just select all of them, download them, and put them somewhere safe. So that is the uh, file backup. For the database backup, you will need access to phpMyAdmin. Uh, again, from SiteGround, since this is a live server, I can go to uh, App Manager, uh, excuse me, MySQL, phpMyAdmin, right? And I can access it from here. If you're working locally, then it depends what you used to install the uh, Apache and MySQL servers. I'm using XAMPP on Windows, and you know I can always jump into the, uh, the phpMyAdmin from here. So let me actually show you how this works because it's exactly the same. It doesn't matter if you're working locally or not. So you would go to databases, you would find your WordPress database, Okay, and then you would go to, uh, excuse me, export. You would choose an export method here. If you just want to go, 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 you would choose quick. Otherwise, you would select custom, and this uh, allows you to um, tweak the, um, the export file a little bit. Uh, make sure your format is set to SQL, SQL. And once you have everything set, you can hit go. And that's going to export an, a SQL file with all of the content of your database. And that's how you can back up your database. Now, before we wrap it up, I just want to mention something. Uh, some of you who know WordPress might say, uh, well, Adi, we have an export tool here in WordPress. Well, that's true, but the export tool only exports your content. It doesn't export the themes, the plugin configuration, the database, none of that. It just exports the post, the pages, and the media. And that's it. And if you want to do that, then that's totally fine, but it's not a complete backup solution. And that's how you can backup your WordPress website uh, using these two methods with a plugin or uh, manually. So I recommend you do this for every website you own because um, it's going to uh, save you a bunch of um, downtime later on. With that said, thank you very much for watching this uh, tutorial. I'm Adi Purdila, and until next time, take care.